Welcome to this video on AutoCAD Electrical. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the essentials of inserting and revising ladders in AutoCAD Electrical. This guide will walk you through the steps to efficiently manage and update your ladder diagrams. By the end, you'll have the skills to streamline your design process and ensure your schematics are accurate and up to date. Let's get started. Let's get started by inserting a ladder into AutoCAD Electrical. To do so, I'm going to make sure I'm on the Schematic tab, then I'm going to go to the Insert Wires and Wire Numbers panel, and I'm going to choose the Insert Ladder tool. Once I do, this dialog comes up, and it gives me the options to change the specifications for my ladder. For example, I can change the width, that's the distance between the two buses or rails, in this case I'll make it 5. I can come in here, I can change the spacing on the rungs, and I'll make it 1. I can either specify the number of rungs, or I can specify the length of the ladder. If I specify the number of rungs, for example, as 5, and then just click in any other box, it will automatically uh, calculate the length of the ladder. If I come in here and I specify the length of the ladder, if I come in here and say something like 6.5, and then I click in any other box, it'll calculate the number of rungs that I have. You don't have to do both, you can just do one or the other. So I'm going to set this back to 5. Then I can come in here and I can give it the first reference number. The ladder will have reference numbers going down the left hand side beginning with this number right here. So I'm going to say how about 101 and then I can tell it how I want to index each rung afterwards. So I can have it if I have this set as 1, the next rung will be 102, then 103, then 104. If I have this index set at 2, it will skip every even number. It will be 101, 103, 105. And if I change this to 3, it will skip 2 in between. So it would be 101, skip 102, 103, then 104, skip 105, 106, and then 107. They do this so that you can plan ahead, you can leave extra space, and it gives you the opportunity to insert rungs without having to renumber the entire thing. Down here at the bottom I have the choice of doing either single phase or three phase ladders. Um, a three phase ladder isn't necessarily really a, a logic ladder, it's more like a wiring diagram. So I'm going to leave this at single phase. And then when I put insert my <clears throat> When I insert my ladder, I can say no bus, or no rungs, or I can say yes, because I want all of the items in there. And then I can choose OK. And then at this point, I can simply click where I want my ladder to go, and it draws it in place. Now that it's in here, let's look at some ways that you can modify this ladder. If I want to make the, the ladder wider or narrower, I can use the scoot tool. So I'll go over to this wire, the bus on the right hand side, right click my mouse and choose scoot. Then it allows me to pick this wire and I can simply make the ladder wider okay, or narrower depending on what my needs are. If I need to make the ladder longer, there's a couple steps that are involved. The first step is to go to the home tab up here on the ribbon and use the stretch command. Now when you use the stretch command you have to stretch by selecting your objects with either a crossing window or a crossing polygon. I'm going to use a crossing window and I'm only going to select the bottom of each of those rails. I don't want to select the number on the left hand side or a, or a rung because that's going to stretch that rung as well and I want it to stay where it is. So it's important that you only select the bottom of those two rails. Once you're done selecting, you can press enter, and then you can select your base point and then your second point of where you want it to be stretched out to. In this case, I'm just gonna pull it down. I'll type two to make it two inches longer. So I've made that rail two inches longer. Now in order to add two more rungs to this ladder, what you have to do is go back to the schematic tab and you're going to go to the edit wires and wire numbers panel and then right here where there's an add rung if you look at the little flyout there's other tools here and we want to revise this ladder so then when I click revise ladder it will open up 
any ladders or it gives me the information about any ladders in this active drawing. Right now I only have one ladder in this drawing. The rung spacing is one, the rung count is five, the rung start is 101. And I can come in and I can change any one of these numbers that I want or all of these numbers if I want. For example, I know that I want this to have seven rungs, so I'll just type seven there and choose OK. And you'll see that it adds two rungs to this ladder. Now, in order to put those rungs in, don't come up here and draw with the wire tool. Don't do that. You could do it, but don't do it that way. The better way is to come in and use the add rung tool. Then all you have to do is just get close to where it's supposed to be and it will automatically add that rung in for me. And then again, get close to where it's supposed to be and it will automatically add that again as well. Now, if I want to do some other things like change the spacing on these, that's a little bit more complicated, but not terribly complicated. Again, we'll come up here and we'll use the revise ladder tool. And let's say that I wanted this still to have um, seven rungs, but I wanted my rung spacing to be three quarters of an inch instead of one inch. I'll type in 0.75 and you'll see that what happens is it's going to renumber my ladder or, or change my ladder. But now what's happened is my numbers are closer together and this rung is in the wrong place as is this one, but this one's okay. And then this, these two are in the wrong place. So what I want to do now is come in and use the trim wire tool don't use erase use the trim wire tool and trim out the rungs that I don't want and then come back in and add the rungs back in using the add rung tool now that this is too long I can come in and I can stretch this ladder again and make it the appropriate length whatever that happens to be if I look at another drawing, come in here and look at another drawing, ladder two for example, you'll see that I have a simple ladder diagram that I need to finish. So I'm gonna add a couple wires in here to make this latch complete. And then, <clears throat> um, let's see, I need to do a couple other things here. I need to move this running light bulb down here to rung four. So I'll right click on this and I'll say, let's move this component down here. Oops, darn it. No retag. Again, I need to right click on this. I'm going to move this component and I'm going to put it where it belongs. And then I'm going to trim these out. So let me trim this and trim this. And then I need a copy of this, uh, or I need another normally open uh, contact to go down here with this green one. Let me scoot this over, by the way. So I'm going to right click on this and I'll say, let's scoot this component just so that it's lined up with the others. <clears throat> now I want to put in another normally open contact here. So I'll go to my icon menu on relays and contacts. I'll add that normally open icon. And then I'm going to associate it with that relay that there on 301. And then OK and map that there. So now we're good to go. <clears throat> Let's say that I wanted to do something like I wanted to renumber this entire ladder. So instead of starting with 301, uh, I wanted it to start with 501. Well, that also means that all of the components in this ladder need to be revised as well. And the revise ladder tool will do that. So if I come in here and I say, okay, let's come up here to, again, edit wires and wire numbers and drop this down, revise ladder. Again, I come in here and I say, I, I don't wanna change the spacing. I don't wanna change the run count, but I do want to change this reference number from 301 to 501. So I'll choose okay on that. You'll see that it updates my reference numbers here, but it has not updated any of these numbers here. In order to finish this out, I'm gonna do a save real quick. It's always a good idea to save your work. You need to go to the project tab up here at the top, okay, on the project tab. And I'm going to go to update and retag. 
and it's gonna say what do I want to do it's gonna give me a list here and in this case I want to update my components and I want to do a cross-reference update as well then I can come in and choose OK the one that I want to update in this case is the one that I'm working on right now ladder 2 I'm gonna process that one choose OK and you'll see that it goes through and it thinks about it and then it makes it all work out the only thing that it didn't do is over here on this relay, notice that it says 501, but it didn't complete the process by putting these contacts back up here on the normally open and normally closed list. To finish that out, you'll right click on this contact, you'll choose edit component, you'll simply pick it one more time right here, okay, and then okay, and it'll go back through and do the entire thing. Now the last thing that you might need to do is you might need to move a ladder from one place to another. To do so, you can come in here and you can use the regular move command inside of AutoCAD. And you'll just simply make sure that you capture everything in your ladder, including all of the numbers, all of the components, all of the uh, text over here on the side, and you can move it wherever you need to move it to. But when you move it, AutoCAD loses place. It doesn't know where that is. So in order to finish out the process and let AutoCAD update the database behind the screen that you can't see, you'll go back to the schematic tab. You'll choose on the edit wires and wire numbers tool. You will choose the revise ladder tool. And once you do that, just bringing this dialog box up refreshes the database and makes AutoCAD verify where this is in space. So you, at this point, you can choose cancel. So that's all about inserting and revising ladders in AutoCAD.